All right, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, my name's Slim Fast. Lazo's here. This is a Toxic and Problematic, a little podcast we do uh, yep. every week or so, and usually we just sit around and kind of bullshit, but yeah. we have a guest this Look week. at that, huh? That's, oh. That's just a guest, an old friend in the actual studio yep. with us. Which doesn't happen very often. Which no. is the best way to do it. Thank right. you very much for having me, man. Yeah, no, thank you for stopping by. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is a very... Very big deal for us. Really? Yeah, yeah of course. Very, very oh, big deal. That's really yeah. cool. When, Thank when you. was the last time we saw you? Dude, last time I saw Laszlo was... was Tulsa, maybe? Yeah. Was that a yeah. drunken night for me in Tulsa? Yeah, but we were <laughs> hugging and making out. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was fine. A, Yeah, it was yeah. all right. It was Tulsa? When, when did you go to Tulsa? Was it was a show. There yeah, was a show in Tulsa. Yeah, it was oh. a show that, that yeah. he was coming out to, and we hung out there. And um, But it's been a while since I've been here, though. Yeah. Yeah, but I, when was the first time we met, Lazo? How long has it been now? How many years back? I'm, we, I, we were 2006? Talking, that's what we were trying to think earlier. Yeah. I was thinking we were still in that old building the first time we ever met Justin. And I, yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah. yeah. And uh, actually, it's funny because before we went on, Justin was talking about, you know, the idea of like after COVID, we were talking about everything changes. Our building looks different. Your yeah. industry looks different. Yeah. Uh, you know, venues look different. Yeah. And uh, you were saying right before we went on, you're like, man, I don't give a shit if there's a uh, Two million people there. Two people. If someone wants to hear right. my music, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. And I thought, yeah, I really I, need to do this radio show for more like two million. Though, <laughs> yeah, yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah. Like, <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, mean, I, I got a lot of baby mamas. Exactly. You know? Yep. 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 But yeah. it reminded me, Lazo. Do you remember when they asked him to play for us that time? I mean, that's what it had to have been like 2006, right? When yeah. You went. You came into the conference room. And yeah. labels and will played. ask their artists to do a lot of things, and I, th I know a lot of artists are, can be kind of flippant or just be like, "Oh, whatever." You I know, see. I don't get that. I was, tell I was telling Jason and Colin, my boys that came with me today, about how artists. I was like, "You're here. This is something that that all artists should do. They should come and thank their radio station. They should rub their feet, do whatever the hell they need, <laughs> right? And it, because they're the reason people hear you. They're the reason people come to your show." Y'all, the reason we're sold out tonight because you guys put our name out there. So it's I don't I never understood that when you're like when artists are asked to come to the conference room and play for people. Shit, I'll I'll play your quinceanera. Just thank you, you <laughs> right? Know? Right. Uh, well, I appreciate that. I can yeah. do grocery both sides. shop for your ass. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've heard plenty of stories about other radio stations that do ask. You know, some pretty some ridiculous, pretty fucking ridiculous, things, ridiculous and stuff. Like, and you're like, come like, on, man. Radio. I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> right. I don't know, you know, man. I don't know what what would be ridiculous though. Let's think about it. What would be ridiculous? <laughs> You know, I don't know. Maybe they make you come on their morning show and get hit in the face with a tortilla. I'm not really sure. <laughs> that just, sounds they, like they, fun. Okay, well, that sounds like fun. You know, but in, in yeah. your case, I think they said, you know, we would love for you to to hear him perform. We're like, okay, great. When's the show? And like, we'll just have him. We'll just have him perform something for you now. And yeah, and I was like, no, 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 no. I remember that. being in don't charge. I was like, no, that. don't make him do that. Don't make him do that. And they're like, no, it. he'll do it. And, and I was like, backstage, no. dude, back in your bathroom doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers are going down. You gave it 100%. Yeah. 110%. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, man, now that is the exact opposite of what you right. see from some of these people who are like, hilarious. I'm not I'm not yep. going in there. I'm not walking in there. It was, yep. that was... That's that, that was something. unbelievable. Yeah, it was just one of those things. Like, unbelievable. You know, get to tell people back about what are some cool things that that happened. You know, oh, cool man. people that you met and cool experiences. That's right. one of those stories that I think Lazo and I both will. Was I wearing like a suit? Yes, yep. and, the, and you the had the, and you had the whole table done with tin foil. Yeah, and there was like a sales guy in there, and, and one of the songs said like "fuck you" or yeah. something. Somebody, and you looked him right in the face, and you said it to him, and I was that like, was "Oh no, that was the Dale's freaking <laughs> out over there. <laughs> he has no idea what's Wait, happening." Tell his wife about this when he gets home. <laughs> like, Honey, you will not the, believe it. I was on the table too, right? It was, yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Yo, it was a full <laughs> performance. Yeah, yeah, you did it, man. That is hard. We had the whole table covered in foil. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Been great. friends ever since. <laughs> yep. Friends ever since. That's crazy. Yeah. So uh, I know you talked a little bit about COVID, you know, yeah. changing things for I change things for everybody, but changing things for you. What's life been like? You know, what what was the big uh, change post COVID? Just kind of getting reacclimated. We I think as like just fans of music, we thought, oh well, now COVID's here. There's going to be all these bands that are come out once lockdowns. Up and they're gonna say we wrote albums and we're on tour and that's what we really, did. Didn't really happen. <laughs> right. You guys did it, right? We went, I mean, these guys were in there. These are some of my writing buddies. They go everywhere with me. We write. We record together, and we just hunkered down every day. Meet nine a.m. to six p.m. Let's let's work. Right. And we would go in there. And we would start with nothing. Who's got an idea? I got an idea. Right. Put it down. Let's go. Yeah. We wrote like eighty-five something ideas that 
are all being completed. We had a part one come out. Now we're having part two come out. Right. And it's not like it's all cohesive and, oh, we made this concept album about isolation <laughs> and depression. Right. Oh, right. my God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. No. You right. know, it's, a, it's good songs, good rock and roll, good alternative music. Right. And just positive vibes and trippy romantic sh that I love. Yeah. yeah, but don't you kind of get like, you know, looking back on that, like for me, when you come and say like, man, I wrote, 85, 90 songs. Because when COVID hit, I was like, I don't know, man. I'm going to fucking do something. You right, know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm going to yeah, yeah. fix well, my right house. I got bullshit broken into my house. Did like, you fix it? Nothing. Not yeah. a fucking thing. Nothing. Like, I still get up. I'm like, that fucking handle's been broken for three years on right, that drawer. I didn't do shit. Yep. Nothing. So it's hard to like, blame an artist. You know, <laughs> right. you're like, hey, yeah. where's all this? I'm like, they're probably doing the same thing. Like, right. fuck, I should write a song. Like, but fuck, I'm like, it's kind of like, why would I break that handle? I'm going to get COVID and yeah, fucking die. You, What's it matter? You're fucking Laszlo. You can come in here and still lock it down on the mic. I have to watch out for all these 21 year olds that want my spot. Right. That want to come out with a better song than me, right. so I'm like, man, while they're surfing and partying, <laughs> I'm over here sober going into work. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna yeah. write some shit that's just gonna be so good, so that when the floodgates do open, I can go radio pow, radio right. pow, radio pow, and then continue the relationship that we have. Right. Well, you know? speaking about, and I know you don't have a ton of time, and I, I no, appreciate you coming in, but man. I, I one thing I did do during COVID is watch your fucking documentary. Oh, thanks, Laszlo. <laughs> man, I got done watching that documentary and emailed your manager, who you know I'm also friends yeah. with. Was like, dude, thanks for fucking making that. Yeah. Like, like I don't know how many people. Look, I, uh, I I got clean for you know I don't know f um, almost twenty years at one point, yeah. and then went through a divorce Oof. and was like fuck that all of it, and still not clean now. Like yeah. you know, it's you try to figure it out. And me and you have talked about yeah. you know, and you know that about me. But the the things you went through and the things you did, and when when you listen to your music you you get it you like as a as a fan or as a listener you understand like hey this guy's sharing his yeah. life right yeah that documentary like was like this is it yeah. this is an open book yeah. like and here it is and this is me and at the end of the day it, it you know yeah. here i am that's what's great about life though like when you're doing the good thing and treating yourself right you, you have all the confidence in the world. You, you don't lie to anybody anymore. And I said to this last night to the fans that were in the audience, I was like, you know what is so fucking amazing? The definition of freedom is not looking over my fucking shoulder anymore. Right. Wondering who the fuck's coming after me. Right. It's like, I don't care. As long as I keep doing the next right thing and I keep being a badass, right. which means just don't do fucking drugs. Right. That's all I got to do, man. Yeah. That's it. And if I do well, that, that's easier it, said than no, done, especially no, in this room. I, I apologize. Know. I know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but I was not, you know. Sure. Whatever's legal is legal, and you do whatever you want. I can't do anything legal because I'll go eat a whole bucket right. of KFC, and then that's next thing, thing you know, man. I'll be meatloaf instead right. of Justin, you know? And so, But in that, doc, if you, you don't mind me bringing it up, no. dude, look, man, there's a it. scene in there. I mean, there's several scenes where you're talking about all kinds of stuff. But you're like, when you're talking about going through a divorce, which I went through, yeah. and fighting for your kids and how much that matters, and like that destroyed me. Oh, me too. And like, I remember when they came to me and they said, you know, we're getting a divorce, and they said, you know what, you might see your kids eight, nine days a month. Yeah. I was like, why? Yeah. Like I, I don't love them any less. Yeah. Right. Like what? What? You know, I could see you going through that. Like I had the email manager. Like, thank you, man. Like. It's yeah. nice to know there's somebody out there. There's a scene in there where I was also like, this is fine. And only addicts would die laughing, crying when this happened. The guy in your band that went to your intervention and right. in the documentary goes, so I'm going into the intervention and they're all asking me to go to the intervention. I'm like, I don't want to fucking do this. So... I just pounded a couple beers and got high and went into the interview. <laughs> and I was like, of course, man. Only that addicts would, would look at that. Yeah. I think most people would be like, you asshole. I just started, I was like, I'd do the same fucking thing. Like, no, heat is on him, man. Right. Push right. that yeah. that way. <laughs> uh, I want to get sober. That, was, that was Ryan, dude. He's like, I did three gaggers and went in there. <laughs> right. I'm like, holy yeah, shit. You did, now, I was good. Did you know he did that before? Were you yeah. watching the documentary and you're like, you motherfucker. Dude, I was so wasted. I don't even remember the intervention. Right. Except for the parts where, I, where, where my dad, the cop, you know, right. leans forward and he goes, "I'm taking you to rehab," and I was like, 
Ooh, you're so scary. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. The next thing I'm on the plane going, oh, the fuck you get me on this son of a bitch? Right. But it was the best thing that ever happened to sure, me. Sure, of course, man. If you haven't seen the documentary, it's unbelievable. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your story that. really, truly is Thank unbelievable. You. Like, Thank you. Hey, are you still a fan of peanut butter? The <laughs> hand gets rid of the uh, anxiety, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, one time I was talking to you when we were talking, I was like, yeah, I'm going to send that motherfucker a huge ass... Yeah, there's a, I have a jar in my backpack. Bathtub back full here. of yeah. motherfucking peanut Get up all the time. Like, man, I'm fucking got anxiety. I'm just buying, like, fucking peanut. I don't know why. I, I know. You told me that. I'm like, that's the best thing. You're like, that's crazy. Do you like creamy or nutty? Uh, creamy. Okay. Yeah. That way you can get more on the spoon. You don't have to kind of fuck with it. And I love like this. the nutty thing, like, choke you yeah. if you're in a really bad mood. Teeth like, and yeah, shit. Right, yeah. yeah. The honey yeah, roasted that. is oh. good too. Ooh, yeah. that's good stuff. For me, his thing's always been peanut butter. Mine's always been milk, and I think yours is milk a little bit to some extent. Milk, milk. Yeah. Like if I get anxious, I can't drink. Milk. I need to go drink yeah. a glass of milk. And my girlfriend, she, she's got bad anxiety, and she'll she'll say, "I'm not feeling." I'm like, "Do you want to go get you some milk?" And finally, one day, she's like, "Milk doesn't fucking cure anxiety for me. That's your thing." And I'm like, "It doesn't? Yeah. How could that possibly? Right. Does it doesn't make calm, you feel a little well, better? It calms babies down, right? Well, I'm a big it's ass milk. baby. Right, so, exactly. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god." You know, and, and obviously you don't have to, uh, nor would I expect you to tell us what this no. what this is. But anyone who's gone through addiction, or, or just if, even if they know, like I think I've got a problem, they've heard from someone at least once, probably a thousand times. Hey, there's something you're not dealing with. It could be something from your childhood. It could be something that's going on in your life. But there's so, you got to figure out what that thing is. And I, I think a lot of people can go their whole lives without ever figuring out what that thing is. And and it's generally because they're avoiding it to begin well, with yeah. and they don't want to find it. But I, I, I don't, you know... I, Hopefully you found what that thing is, and I don't know if you feel like you know. I, I think I, I think I got it. I think I can I can pinpoint some of the stuff. But don't you think that's the hardest part? Is like yes, figuring the, out the why. I, I don't know why. You all know? right, check this out. I'm going through my second divorce right now, mm -hmm. right? And it's the best thing that's. I was ever gonna happened. say congratulations, hey, no, man. Thank you. Yeah, my you first know? one just yeah. fucking yeah. awesome. But what I'm saying, he is, recommends them all. The <laughs> yeah, time. I, I call my sponsor, and one thing we do in AA. And it, we do these things called steps, and people are like, oh, God, you're a stepper. But one of the most powerful things about the steps is step six, where it says, and I'm just going to tell you, to recognize and list out your character defects. And that means if you're a real, if, if you're going to be honest, like if you're going to go to jazzercise, you, you're going to go in there and do jazzercise, you're going to stand there and act like you're doing it. Right. right. So we're going to go do this. Look at your character defects. Look around at what you keep fucking up on. Okay, I've got control issues. Okay, I've got power issues okay i've got a little bit of that ego oh shit and then i find them all and i list them all and then i go okay so how do those affect my daily uh conflicts with people and how do these keep getting me in trouble and how do they keep leading me to drink and drug and you analyze these fucking character defects so much that at the end of it you write a prayer right to whatever your higher power is whether it's the ocean buddha sure. god i don't give a fuck the doorknob right. whatever keeps you off the dope for the day and you pray every day, please take away this ego because it's keeping me from being the best person I can be. Please take away this power trip. Please, so you, you're going through your character defects and you're analyzing your character defects. Yeah, right. Some people in this world don't even know they have character defects. Well, yeah. Right. Certainly don't want to. There's a giant the lack of self awareness in this world so sometimes. That's where it's like, real. I'm guilty yeah. of it too, right? Yeah. But you're like, man. But that's right. what get that's where it gets real when you ask me like hey, have you found that thing fuck yeah I found out what the fuck's wrong with me I found right. a solution. and then I said yeah. guess what I don't have to be a dick anymore yeah. holy shit well how do I do that well list out those things start praying about it move on maybe go outside instead of sitting inside being a little bitch all day yeah right. and just when you thought that was the toughest half of them all like nope we're gonna get to uh, making amends here now you're gonna yeah, go fuck that. Like, oh, that's the best <laughs> Yeah. Like, do I have to talk to everybody? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, right. I think you know who it's going to yeah. be. Right. But, yeah. so, and then know. there's always that trepidation because then you're going to go back, right? right? So you're like, fuck, I just said I'm sorry for all that shit. But I just fucking pounded some cinnamon whiskey in my car two oh months later right now right. they're all I like fuck you gotta do this over. again asshole you're yeah. like hey. you know, I'm gonna leave that motherfucker out of the second one we already yeah. did it the first time right? right but it's all about just trying it's, it's about keep walking the walk trying. Yeah, yeah. you have to keep trying then yeah. keep trying That's and you're gonna look like a fool half the time but you look like a dumber stupid more big of an idiot when you were wasted right. on their front lawn humping their dog yeah. you know yeah and I'm guessing you, I mean, you're an ambitious person probably from a young age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you grew up in Texas, right? Yeah. Like Houston. born and raised. And so, 
I don't know at what point you think, you know what, I'm going to be a rock star. But I mean, you look at your resume, because you didn't you tell us that you, you were a writer for a while, too, yeah. right? You, I mean, you've got a, a, an IMDb page. You were writing for oh, Lord. shows and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, that's that's some serious, like, you know what, belief in yourself. Yeah. Well, it started out in theater. It's, and, and obviously, uh, ability, of yeah. course, but... I remember my dad, when I wanted to watch uh, Friday Night Videos, remember when that shit came out when mm-hmm. we were like... Yeah, I know, of like course. 10 or some yeah, shit yeah. Friday nights on Channel 13. Mm-hmm. Duran Duran and Peter Gabriel right. Shock the Monkey, that kind of weird yeah. shit, and uh, Quiet Riot. Anyway, he said, hey, before you go watch Friday Night Videos, you got to memorize this. And I was like, well, what? What are you talking about? It's like, it's like a poem? He goes, no, it's something you live by. And I go, what? And it was, if the task is once begun, never leave until it's done. Be the labor, great or small. Do the, jo- do the job well or not at all. And he made me memorize that shit right there. And then whenever I would want to go watch Friday Night Videos or something, he'd say, hey, what's up? And I'd have to say it to him. So whenever I would be doing something, I'd be slack, and he'd go, oh, mm, what's up? And then I would see my dad not take shit from anyone. Right. You know, I, I, I was in Scouts, and I went for the, the first aid merit badge, and the scout leader had a son who didn't have the first aid merit badge yet. And I, I, I schooled his son on the, on the stuff, and, I, and I was, it was my time to get it. And the guy didn't give it to me till his son got it. My dad walked up to him and grabbed him by the neck. Right. And was like, the fuck you think? Right. And I was right. just like, man. If right. you're going to do it, do it right, yeah. He, I like him. But yeah. He was also a DEA cop. He would take me to the, the airport and go, that guy right there is holding coke. Right. And I go, nah. And he goes, bet you 10 bucks, watch. And he followed him into the bathroom. Did you use that skill later to get coke at the right. airport? Because I, yeah. <laughs> right? I'm like, in that clubs, guy's a, in clubs. Right, of course, right? Like, get down on the ground. <laughs> get me out of your cocaine. <laughs> right. Baby. <laughs> hey. ah. You know? Buy one of those concealed carry bags. <laughs> but like, it was always something. It was like, man, you're going to do something. You do it with all your heart. Right. Yeah. And then if, if anybody treats you like shit or disrespects you, man up. I remember my dad right. looked at me and he said, I don't know what we can say on the air here. Say whatever you want, my dad said to, about my first wife, he said, that, that pussy must be made of magic. Right. Because you're a dumbass. Right. Well, yes, sir, it is. You right. know? Like, <laughs> actually, yeah, it's actually it is. Right. she farts rainbows, dad. You <laughs> right. Know? But it's, it's crazy. He was just like that. And it's, it's instilled with me. The other night I'm with my mom and my dad passed away during COVID and uh, changed my life forever for the better. He's just a, a pimp. And I'm looking at my mom, and my mom's talking about something. And I said, well, you got to go like this. And then I looked at my daughter, and I was like, if he's going to treat you like that, just leave him, man. Run, get get it. And my mom goes, man, you sound like your dad. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, you're damn right. Yeah. 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 I don't even remember what the question was. Uh, I think we were talking about, like, uh, oh, writing. You, you yeah, know, yeah, writing yeah. For, for, for television shows. Writing. And all that. Like, is that what you, did you think, I'm going to be a rock star, and I'm going to be a movie star you know i'm gonna do acting i'm gonna do writing i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it all i just wanted to create you just wanted to create yeah i always wanted to be a director a writer screenwriter playwriter uh musician uh poet whatever was out there and then all of a sudden i started writing songs that were really really personal and it made people go "Ooh, that's Uh uh, they either loved it or they hated it but i knew once i played kansas city this place called the hurricane Uh yeah Yeah. of course i played there once then we did a residency. We went over to Nebraska, came back, and, and every Thursday we played the Hurricane. And after a month, we had like 300 people. Mm-hmm. I was like, kind of onto something. Onto something, right? All right. And I always tell young bands, they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, do residencies. Yeah. And if you play a place for two months and nobody comes, you suck. <laughs> Go right. back and write new <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, you're not, don't sit there and smell your own fart and say it smells like blueberry muffins because right. it does not. Yeah. Unless right. you're farting blueberry muffins. Right. right. Which, sometimes you know, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it does. Yeah. It, you know. Everybody loves the smell of their own brand. Now, um, you have, obviously, it, like you hold your father in some esteem, as we can see, right? And you have kids now. Yeah. And so do I. I have two boys who you've met, I think. And, um, you know, as they get older, my oldest now in high school and do you find yourself stop because you said like it, you, your mom said you sound like your father i find myself like in my head before what i'm about to say is like oh that sounds like john 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's back that off just a little bit. Because yeah. my dad was the same guy. I remember getting in trouble in high school. My dad showed up in a suit or whatever, and the principal, it was a fight or something. My principal, and I remember my dad looking at me and says, well, if he doesn't beat your fucking ass, I will. Like, oh, you know what I mean? And it was like, yes. but now I get called in the principal's office, and I go in with that. I'm like, and I'm like, you know, slay, slow down on the I'll beat your fucking ass stuff yeah, and try yeah. to... You know, like I try to, you know, take the good, take, the good, and the, exactly. take a little bit out of that. Like, let's that. Slow, let's back that up but a little bit. How did that work out for your dad though? When he would say that, it worked out though, right? Yeah, you know, my dad would like that was the eighties. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> my dad would go in and be like, you know, my son, you know, if he says he didn't do it, then he didn't do it, and fuck you. Yeah. And then we get in the car, and be like, you fucking idiot! I know you did. It was like, you know, yeah. I, and whenever they would say like, you know, hey, I'm gonna call your dad, I'm like, this isn't gonna be good for anybody, yeah, man. Just don't It'll do be that. bad for you. It'll be bad, It'll be bad for, for me. <laughs> like, you're just gonna come in here pissed, man. Like, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> uh, sounds like a lawyer. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, I'd that's like just to just hire your school. dad <laughs> for my divorce. So, yeah, right. Let me yeah. call my existing attorney. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're fired. <laughs> you know. That's uh, hilarious. Well, thanks again, obviously, That's for stopping by here. You're back on the road now. Yeah. Uh, and I know you brought your guitar. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, would you we, play we, us? You mind if you're comfortable yeah, doing do, that? Do you want to hear an old one? Or you want Whatever you want to do, man. You, do you tell want, us. Do you, do you, and if, I think those uh, headphones over there, if you need I'm to be good. able to hear yourself. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Uh, uh, I was going to ask you something. Last well, how old is your son? 15. My daughter is 15. Right? What do you do? And she's like in love. I had to have the whole talk with her and her boyfriend. Because I have this whole thing called Ring, or not Ring, but Vive Vivian, where the, it shows the outside cameras. Right. And I got a little movie of them parked in the front driveway the other night. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Man. So I popped a little popcorn. And oh, man. Over and it's rough, and man, right? I got to say, if I showed up and you're the dad, I'm like, oh, I better. We, I like we, to get we, real we might close not get to him. I like to get real nice with the guy. Like be real buddy buddy with mm-hmm. him, like listen to his problems, so that when I do pounce, it hurts him emotionally. <laughs> right there, you go. That's probably yeah, a good idea. Like he cries yeah. instead of just being afraid. He's afraid and he cries. Don't you get that yeah. thing too? Like my son will come home and he'll be like, you know, my oldest, <laughs> like you know, I got into a fight or something. You know what I mean? And I'm like, and you're like, look, man. I don't give a fuck about your kid, whoever it was, right? Like yeah. I re- but I put in so much fucking effort <laughs> yeah. to try to not let him turn out like me. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna fuck that up after school in a stupid yeah. fight. Like, what are you doing, man? Just knock like, him out and run. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like it just won't, you know, you never know what to do, man. It's tough. <laughs> All right, this one's called Where'd You Go? I'm less of a mess these days. Downtown with my baby on a Saturday night. Pushed out the car, but the feeling was right Uh Uh-huh, yeah, Uh uh-huh You live next to the club down on Montrose Street We can listen to the Pixies from your bedroom suite Uh Uh-huh, yeah, Uh uh-huh We break in the museum in the middle of the night Run from the security and out of the light I miss those old days with my beautiful friend I'm wondering where you are and how the hell have you been Downtown with my baby on a Saturday night Push start the car and the feeling was right Uh Uh-huh Yeah Uh Uh-huh But baby Where you go Cause it's depressing as fuck Where did you go? So I'm calling you up Where did you go? Cause it's depressing as fuck So fuck it Yeah, I'm calling you up Yeah, I'm calling you up Blow up the mattress and we slept on the floor Black polka dot bikini you wore uh, We sit and talk about how good all the sex is Yeah, cause it was bad with our exes Remember music, yeah, when it didn't suck I tried to write for you like Morrissey would Instead I stumbled through the songs in the back of my truck Say you love the way I sing cause I'm depressing as fuck Fuck Where'd you go? Cause it's depressing as fuck Fuck Where did you go? Yeah So I'm calling you up Where do you go? It's depressing as fuck So fuck it Yeah I'm calling you up Yeah I'm calling you up Man Thanks I appreciate awesome. you man Yeah thank you I, I appreciate I, I didn't you I did realize after I said 10 fucks 
Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It's all good. I was like, oh. he's like, it's all good. You're, uh. <laughs> no, no, we're no, good. No, 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 we're good. Man, I do appreciate you. No, nah, like not just not as a friend, and you know, yeah. somebody that you know, but you know, I, I think you, uh, I, I think you do a lot of good, man. Thank you. I, I do, that. like you know, above and beyond everything else. I uh, that Tulsa show, you know, I, I've yeah. seen you a lot, but. Man, we're standing on the stage and watching those people react to you. It's pretty cool, man. And listen, and seeing how that touched, like it wasn't like, it was every different type of person, which was there was no like, like you couldn't gauge it, right? Yeah. There's young kids and older people. And like, you know, if you're in high school, there was the geeks and some cool kids and pretty girls and <laughs> some kid with nobody there, right? Yeah, like yeah. just by himself. And you're like, man, they all related to you and somehow they walked out of that place feeling good not only good connected to something yeah. and man we all need that right yeah. and so you go from city to city to city and there's people out there going to your shows who probably don't have any connection yeah and they get it tonight and that's fucking impressive man thank you yeah, Maslow, that means a lot. Come That's true. Thank you. It's yeah. true. And you know, just one thing I would add to that is, I'm sure lots. Except of for Dale in the sales room, he was right. fucked up. <laughs> he, was, he was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know every artist probably says. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I don't know that Dale's your biggest fan. I don't know Dale might. <laughs> yeah, I love the still on radio yeah. after COVID, but right. you know. But I've heard so many artists say we have the best fans. We have the best fans. But from third party perspective yeah. here, I can tell you there may yeah. you know Lazo will always say things like there may be someone who loves their kid as much as me, but no one loves their kid more than me. There yeah. may be fans out there that love an artist as much but they don't love you more they don't love them more than a blue october fans they just yeah. don't there's something priceless about these people you have you great know? fans it's like great me when fans. i first met people at the hurricane like that i was just this teenage guy that was writing poetry trying to find a group right. of people that i could vibe with right and so i would speak all this shit that was just really strange and dark and then afterwards they come up and they go Hey, let me buy you a drink, and yep. I'll be like, "Buy me eight. Yeah, you know, right. man. Of course, nah. right. I'm joking. Well, yeah. I appreciate you guys. We appreciate yeah. you very much. Is there anything that we need to p that you want us to promote? Man, what can we say? Websites. Anything? Go listen uh, to songs. Go buy uh, vinyls. Nah, go. Nah, man. No? I'm good, man. Just Blue October. We're gonna be here forever. Right. And uh, just even if you hate us, we'll still be here. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna be making music. We have an album called Spinning the Truth Around. And we're always going to be touring. We're always going to be putting on new and fresh shit. Yeah. There's so many stories, man, we don't get a chance to get into. Like, there's crazy shit. Like, and, and even after you leave, I don't even remember the story. Like, you know, hung there's... over in the morning with your manager, who's the nicest guy in the world, get me to the airport, tell me some story about breakfast at fucking Tiffany's. Like, oh do, you know, do you know all those? And I'm like, oh, yes. right, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, crazy fucking stories, man. Yeah. Everybody, that's the other thing. 30 years of doing this. Everybody you associate yourself with is yeah. like just a good human being. Yeah. They are. That's one thing that I've also learned when you said, what is it? What is it keeps that keeps you sober? I don't fuck with negative people anymore. Like, right. I don't. And I like, I'll try as much as I can to just let them know, like, hey, man, that behavior is. Mm. Right. I, I'll pray for them and I'll ask them to just move on. I'll literally block them. Just change I was going to say, the number. age of social yeah. media, I you block, basically. Right. Have to I just the block way. people oh, like. Man spiritually i block people in real life i real life block your ass yeah and then i don't have to fuck with you no more and right. then when you do come around me it's called stalking right see yeah. it's easy yeah. then you get law enforcement involved you know Wish what i'm saying i had that kind yeah. of praise <laughs> i come in with text messages for my ex i show him i'm like hey i'm fucking fire that back <laughs> Thumbs as hard as I fuck you, okay, too. You know what? Let's yeah. this thing go. Let's just ignore laugh. the next one. You know, like, put your phone down this way. We just won't think about it. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. But you know, you just have to answer oh, that. Oh, man. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, man. And then they show up at your house man. and looking nice and they're like, hey, and then you open the door mm -hmm. and then, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Yep. I got it. <laughs> you know I got it. I'm yep. single now, man. Are you yeah. sing you single now? Yeah. <sighs> yep. It's good shit, man. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. You're a rock star, so I'll bet. Yeah. No. A little bit yeah. better for you. Yeah. 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 Good looking yeah. at a rock star. <laughs> yeah. no. yeah. It works for me too. Yeah, don't let that stop you. <laughs> yes, no. We're not mad at you for it. I'm great. We are happy for I you. I love Absolutely. you guys. I love you guys. All right. Hey man, funny. thank you so much. Thank I really you. do appreciate it. I gotta get a picture with you before. Yeah, I let's do that. Get a picture with all y'all. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank all you right. for having hey, me. Thank you, man. Thank I appreciate it. Appreciate it.